What's up you guys, I'm Zach with the Chance here back for my 74th Toy Hunt video and I'm back at Target and I got something to show you guys. So you guys, look who I found. I found Robots in Disguise 2000 Universe Toe Line. So I never, I think I heard of this character before but I actually did like a research on him and I heard he's from Robots in Disguise of 2001 or 2000, something like that. But I gotta say, this figure looks pretty badass. And then, what was the... No, he is part of the Buzzworthy Bumblebee toy line. Sorry. He is part of the Buzzworthy Bumblebee toy line, which makes absolutely, like, a little bit more zero sense. But I gotta say, this is one of my most anticipated figures. I wasn't too excited for this figure too much. But I'm like, you know what? Since he's from Robots in Disguise, I might as well pick him up. So, this guy looks... I think this guy looks pretty, pretty good. So, take, let's... So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this guy and see what else they got. So all I can find is they don't have Optimus because Optimus, I heard, I, they don't have Optimus Prime, but that's fine. But I did find Blitzwing. This one is just a repack of the Legacy one. I don't, I said I wasn't too sure if I want Blitzwing because um, he's a triple changer. And I mean, I do want him. I'm just not going to get him right now. But he does look pretty sick though. And then when I found the core class Dinobots. I found Swoop, and I found uh, Scar. I never heard of Scar before, but I got, I'm probably gonna probably look this character up. Cause I do some research on Transformers. I do some I do some research on Transformers characters who I never heard of before or haven't heard in a while, but Scar looks pretty cool. I don't think this character was part of the G1 cartoon or he's probably part of a, a different Transformers um, TV show or comic book, I don't know, but Scar looks pretty cool. I'm not, I don't think we're gonna, I think, I'm hoping in the future we'll probably get this guy as a leader class figure, maybe in the future, I mean, who knows. And for Swoop, on the other hand, I think Swoop looks pretty cool, but I prefer to getting him as a leader class figure for Studio Series 86 than getting him as a core class figure. And they don't have much. They only have a few Rise of the Beast stuff here and there. They do have Mirage, which I let me take a look at this Mirage figure really quick. Um, not my cup of tea, but I, I am gonna get the Studio Series Mirage, which I'm really excited for. Then we have Bumblebee and Wheeljack. Now these are the characters from Cyberverse, and and the boxes and the bottom of the back. The bottom is torn up. Same thing goes to, oh, never mind. Then we got Mirage here, Rhinox there, and Bumblebee and Swoop there. So, it looks like today we're picking up Toe Line. Okay, guys, like I said, it looks like I will be getting Toe Line. I'm surprised he was the last one in the section, so I'm going to go ahead it looks like it looks like um, since he's from like I say he's from since he's from the Robots in the Skies cartoon Robots in the Skies of 2001, I might as well pick this figure up. So, and it looks like he's also um, you can also put him on um, Hot Shot, which looks like this. Really cool, but no thank you. But if you take a look at the back of the packaging, it looks pretty cool. And uh, I mean, it would have been really nice if he was part of the actual Legacy Evolution line, like the regular line. Hopefully, we'll get a repack of that in the future. But I'm really happy that I found Toe Line, one of my most anticipated figures. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy paid, and I'll see you guys when I get home. Okay, you guys, I'm finally home. Go ahead and get Toe Line out. And here he is. And here he is. Here's Toe Line. I didn't expect to find this. So, here he is. So, I, I mean, I wasn't really too much... Too, I wasn't really excited a little bit much for this figure. But I said, eh, screw it. I'll pick him up. But he looks pretty good, though. Um, I looked him up. And he is from Robots in Disguise of 2001. And, I mean, this, this is not the same characters i guess they wanted to have him be a redeco and this is a redeco and a repaint of both scrap hook and um axle grease so and also you can connect him but you can actually um take him apart and and, and connect him 
on Hot Shot, which I think that's pretty cool, but I'm not going to do that. So, I think this figure looks pretty, like, pretty badass looking. So, like I said, this is... I wasn't really too um, hyped for this figure, but I'm glad I found him. So, I guess he's the only new figure. He was the only new figure on the shelf for now. But, I guess that's possibly it for this Toy Hunt video. And I think that's it and nothing much else to say. So, be sure to like, subscribe, press notification, follow me on Instagram, comment down below. And I'll see, and I'll see you on my review for Toe Line.